Lockley is one of the most special places anyone could live. Lockley started opening its gardens in the 1920s. It was the mill gardens that opened. It's Rupert and Mandy Williams Ellis. We live here at Snugborough Mill. Back in December 2010, we did a big project renovating the old mill here, which hadn't been occupied for over 20 years. So the garden was a complete jungle. The lake was all silted up. I've been a water engineer for 30 years and last 10 years, a landscape designer and builder. Mandy's always loved plants and flowers. It was a lovely project that brought together all our interests and passions. I'm Zoe Thompson and I live at the Manor House in Blockley. I didn't really learn much about it until I came here and started to have to think about how to make a garden. I'm a pink and blue person and white, <laughs> which you will see by the flowers in the garden. I feel this garden is peaceful and tranquil and I love it, I love it. My name is Celia Goodrick Clark. This is Mill Garden House. It was very overgrown and wild and it was full of dead and rotting trees. We've kept a wild garden. I love the textures and the greens and the patterns that different foliage makes. The most joy is going out every day and finding something new. My name is Valerie Scragg. Elm House is a wonderful garden. We have a plethora of insect life and bird life. We've introduced quite a few varieties of grasses, which give a feeling of texture and movement into an otherwise fairly formal part of the garden. The gardens certainly feel like our sanctuary. I'm Maggie Adams and my husband Paul and I have lived at Woodruff for 40 years. The successful garden is waking up in the morning and wanting to go straight out to love areas, to come across something and just think that is so pretty and actually I didn't do anything to create it really, it's, it's done it itself, nature's done it. My name's Jo Murphy, this is Pear Trees and we've lived here for nearly three years. So this garden makes me feel very relaxed. Good to be alive because nature's such a beautiful thing. I just marvel at all the different colours and when you've had a tough day at work or something's not gone according to plan, just to come out and sit in the garden just washes everything away. I'm Wendy Dare and I live here at Mildeen Garden. It's been great fun this year particularly because the season started with a rush. And we walked out in the garden one day and there was nothing there and the next day there were plants shooting. And here we are now with flowers all over the place. And it's wonderful, it's super. Well I'm Brent Salmon and this is Church Gates. My grandfather was a gardener. I still remember all the plants that he had and things that I just so enjoyed. But I didn't start gardening until I was in my 20s really. I like the whole feeling of being part of nature. You know, there are no problems in the garden. The world's all right in the garden. 